While each airline has a distinct livery, the vast majority of the plane is almost always white. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule. A notable one is Air New Zealand, which painted its aircraft black as part of a $13.3 million marketing partnership with Tourism New Zealand. Dutch carrier KLM and the now-defunct WOW Air are some other exceptions. But why are most aircraft painted white? Did you know that the paint on a plane adds anywhere from 600 to 1,200 pounds to its weight? This extra mass increases the amount of fuel a plane burns and is equivalent to carrying as many as eight additional passengers. It goes without saying that paint costs money, both for the initial paint job and for repaints when the color begins to dull. It's been proven that the color white does not fade as fast as other colors, meaning that the aircraft can be repainted less frequently. A typical Boeing 747 paint job uses around 120 gallons or 454 liters. Meanwhile, a 767 uses approximately 90 gallons, equivalent to 340 liters. All told, painting a commercial airliner can cost anywhere from $50,000 to $200,000. The bill adds up when you're talking about a large fleet of aircraft. Of course, there is a benefit to having a mainly white plane when it comes to change of ownership, too. Many airlines or leasing companies may end up selling their planes on to other carriers. By keeping the main body white, it's less expensive to change the livery. A white paint job also keeps the plane cooler, flying at a relatively lower temperature than a darker color that would absorb more heat. Painting an aircraft white helps to reflect the sunlight and minimize the amount of energy needed to keep the plane comfortable. Modern planes that are made from composite materials need even more protection from the sun as they can be damaged by UV radiation, which is another reason why white paint benefits airlines. Concorde was painted with a type of highly reflective white paint to withstand the heat it produced during supersonic flight. Both the nose and leading edges of the faster-than-sound plane could reach temperatures as hot as 127 degrees Celsius or 260.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually the reason why Concorde's special blue Pepsi promotional livery limited the aircraft's supersonic flight to just 20 minutes at a time. The darker color simply absorbed too much heat at supersonic speeds. There's another benefit to a light-colored aircraft that you may not have thought about. By painting an aircraft white, it's much easier for the maintenance crews to spot any damage. This allows oil spills or leaks, cracks, and other faults to be identified and fixed promptly. And finally, painting the plane white also makes it more visible. This may at certain speeds decrease the chances of a bird strike as the aircraft can be spotted more easily. The same can be said for search and rescue, as a white fuselage helps rescuers spot a crash site much more easily. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.